Hey guys, so I just finished filming this makeup look. Um, it wasn't... I have a cat hair on my face. Yeah, I just filmed my first impressions with the new makeup products that have been sitting in a box right here on this shelf. So this is the box of new in products that I need to try out. So this is the look. Um, it might be up by the time you're watching this vlog, I don't know which one I'll edit first. Just doing some tidying up now. I'm really hungry, it's already evening, um, didn't have any lunch. That's what happens when you work from home, you just end up not eating. That That's what happens to me anyway, I just get busy, do my things and just um, like I'm gonna eat later, I'm gonna eat later and then my eating schedule gets so messed up, that's why I have a really bad diet not fit at all, I don't do any sports at the moment, so yeah, I'm really kind of mad at myself for that, so I need to start working out more, I need to get back into yoga because I love yoga, I am so happy when I do yoga, so I will try and get back to it as soon as possible and maybe join a gym or something, I don't know, I need to move more because I'm constantly on my computer, typing away, in my bed, working, so <clears throat> that doesn't help my back at all. And that's why I often have back pains, and at such a young age, it isn't good at all. Hi guys, so I didn't finish vlogging yesterday because I was literally just staying home, working on computer, making the chokers. There wasn't anything vlog worthy. I didn't end up going to the centrum, so I thought, you know, there's no point in vlogging. So I'm going out now. I'm gonna take my camera with me. Maybe I will vlog something. I'm going to ship out the chokers and I'm gonna finally get me some coffee at Max because I've really missed that. And now I'm just doing my skincare routine. I've just used Ancelodesterm toner and I'm gonna use their Eau Cellulaire um, moisturizer because this is just the best moisturizer so yeah what else can I tell you I don't really know I'm going to pop in the retro books shop to check it out because I just love that it's my happy time getting some coffee and browsing in a retro books shop that I just honestly love that I'm just gonna do very simple minimal makeup using my Lancome Tante Miracle foundation which is my absolute favorite, you guys know that the weather doesn't seem to be great today as per usual the whole of August was just cold and rainy and miserable and cloudy so yeah, we don't really have sun in August, basically. So today I received some lipsticks from Urban Decay that I want to show you guys. They are their new Vice lipsticks. Hi, Lily. Um, and I have five different shades. I love the packaging. It's really beautiful. It's like very sleek and um, quite luxurious looking. So I'm going to show you guys the colors. This one is called 714. It's mega matte, so they all have different textures. You have creams, mattes, comfort mattes. This is like a true blood color. It's a very, very beautiful um, red shade. So I love that. Another one is called Big Bang. And this is metallicized finish, which is like a sparkly, um, metallic-y finish I don't know I don't think I would ever wear it because it's so it's really sparkly and metallic and just you know not my cup of tea but look you actually don't get a lot of lipstick in these that is such a tiny lipstick <laughs> yeah so the crazy colors I guess they're nice for makeup artists or photo shoots this one is called back talk and it's a comfort matte and it's a beautiful, um, kind of lilac-y, mauve pink shade. Yeah, it looks very nice in the bullet. I'm going to try some of these on later. Um, okay, another one I have is called Pandemonium. 
It's been mega matte. I don't really know what's the difference between comfort mattes, mega mattes. Um, yeah, this. Look at that. Whoa. This is like a crazy intense purple color. Again, not sure I would ever wear it because it's a, it's a very daring color. But if you like that type of look, why not? And this one is Firebird and it's a cream finish. Now this is a very beautiful color. I would say it's like an, um, like an orchid color. Like a purpley magenta type of color. Sort of like the Urban Decay classic shade. Well, it's more pink, I guess. Thank you so much, Urban Decay, for these lipsticks. They will be very fun to play around with. And I'm gonna try two of the colors now. Can you guys see me well? So I just sat on the sofa in front of the window so that you have good natural lighting. This is my makeup very neutral symbol. Quite bronze today. I went crazy with the bronzer. But yeah, let's apply the lipstick. What was it? Comfort matte. Oh, the texture is really nice. It definitely feels real comfortable, but it is quite lilac actually. It's like a lilac pink. Didn't expect that. It feels amazing on the lips. I just love the texture. Doesn't feel drying, feels extremely comfortable as the name suggests. But the color, I don't I really don't like it. It's not a me kind of color. This is my mom's lipstick color. She will love it. Maybe I should give it to her. Yeah, she would absolutely love this shade. She loves these kind of pinks and like purpley pinks, mauvey shades. Um, but to me, I feel like it doesn't go with my complexion at all. So I'm gonna have to put something else on. Let's try another one on camera just for fun. So now I'm gonna try um, Firebird, which is a cream. It is so beautiful to look at. Let's try it on the lips. Oh god, that is bright. So yeah, this is a different texture. I like how it's super pigmented, but it's not slippery. Really nice, comfortable texture. So yeah. I don't think you've ever seen me wear a color like this, right? It's really cool. Maybe for like a fashion event or something, like fashion week, I don't know, like some event. I might wear it for. That would be so nice to just make a statement with your lipstick, but it's definitely not for every day. I'm gonna take it off. This is gonna be a lipstick experimentation day. This is the nude one I wanted to try. It's by Siete. It's the Olivia Palermo collection and it's called Truffle. So it is a my type of nude. Like It's a very warm kind of toffee color. Let's give it a go. Mm. The texture is really different to the Urban Decay lipsticks. This one is really sheer, so you can still see your lips through it. You can see the texture of your lips. Um, and it's quite slippy, but it's, it's not like very creamy, but it's quite um, slippery. And I think that is a beautiful shade, right? I really like it with a bronzy makeup. It's a really warm tone, kind of like a peachy nude. Yeah, it just feels really nice on the lips. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. So now to finish up my makeup. Well, my makeup is done, but I'm going to spray some SPF. I love this. If you're lazy with your SPF or you don't like creams, this is such an amazing option and you can keep it in your handbag or your car to so just top off your SPF throughout the day, especially if you live in a hot climate. 
this is amazing. So it's antidesoderm UV in cellulose spray. So it's basically just a spray SPF. And it smells like really refreshing and like aquatic. So yeah, my SPF is on. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna dress up <laughs> because I pretty much live in my bathroom. And I will vlog when I'm in the city, I guess. So guys, that is my outfit today. I'm wearing this uh, beautiful, very lightweight beige top. Just a very simple um, top from Zara. I got it in the sales section for like 10 euros and I love it. My jeans are new, high-waisted, ripped black skinny jeans from Mango. I really like them. Anyway, they're super comfy. Um, my bag is my Rebecca Minkoff bag. And then on top of that, because it's quite chilly outside, I'm wearing this uh, kind of like army green color cardi. Uh, I think it's from New York or I got it last year I believe. Um, for perfume today I'm wearing Chanel beige which I've been wearing loads recently. My boyfriend didn't like it first but when he was staying over I wore it all the time and he was like I changed my mind I love your perfume you smell so like clean and fresh and yeah it's just that very simple clean fresh luxurious scent. I, I adore beige it's honey and uh, hawthorn, I believe. Just flowers and honey. For jewelry, I have my Monica Veneta rings. This ring is from and other stories. And then Monica Veneta rings again. On my nails, I've got bubble bath from OPI. And yeah, that's my look. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear on my feet. <laughs> I don't really have autumnal shoes. I've been looking for them. Couldn't find anything new in the shops, anything that I would love. And I'm taking my laptop with me because I want to do some work in a coffee shop and these are all of the chokers I'm gonna ship out. So I decided to wear my Bata Leopard Espadrilles that I've had for years because they're my most comfortable shoes and they go with everything. I love them. Okay now that is something I didn't expect. I just got a delivery from MAC. I haven't gotten anything from MAC in ages. I used to get their new collections but yeah I haven't gotten anything recently so let's open it up. Can you guys see me? So let's see what Max sent me. The products come in this black pouch, like always, when I receive something from them. Ooh, lot of stuff. This is bronzing powder in matte bronze. I love my bronzers, and especially when they're matte. That's great. Yeah, that's so nice. A simple matte bronzer looks a lot like Laguna from NARS. Okay, what's next? MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder in Medium. Now that will definitely be too dark for me because I'm fair in everything. Medium just doesn't work for me. <gasps> Whoa! Ah! I dropped something. That looks like such a beautiful powder. It's baked. And yeah looks really really nice maybe it will match me I don't know because it doesn't look too dark actually um, there's my brother in the background doing some something I don't know gardening maybe um, now this is satin lipstick in cyber oh yeah I, I guess brands are crazy about purple colors now it's like a dark purple lipstick I don't know if I would ever wear it. Maybe for Halloween if I want to look like a Dracula or vampire. Um, this is Fusion Pink, an amplified cream lipstick. Oh. <laughs> so it is like a pinky red. Yeah, it looks quite nice. My brother is thinking I'm such a weirdo and he's watching me right now. <laughs> this is liquid last liner in point black oh I'm getting really hot it's actually not that cold it's just like humid and rainy okay let's check the mm. now I mentioned I'm in my first impressions video that I'm not a fan of brushes like that for liners but maybe this will be good I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see. Might change my opinion. And the last product is a lip 
No, this is Velux Brow Liner in Brunette. Brow liner? Isn't that like a brow pencil? Ooh, I've seen these. I wanted to try them out. So it comes with a spoolie and then a pen. Ooh, it looks like... Yeah, that looks like a good color for me. It's like a pretty light ashy brown. It's not too dark, which is very nice. So um, I think I'm most excited about the bronzer and the brow pencil. So thank you so much, Mag. That was totally unexpected. I just got a call from the courier telling he's got a package for me so yeah nice surprise thank you Mac and you guys might have noticed from my different background that I am in my new car so if you don't follow me on snapchat you wouldn't know but I did get myself a new car finally I got it well now three days ago yeah like two three days ago and I'm so so happy with it I don't know if you can even see me <laughs> Yeah, I'm so, so happy with my new car. I just love it. It's my new baby. Um, I didn't get a Beetle in the end because, you know, all of the Beetles that I've checked were either really old and in a poor condition or, like, totally new cars. So I wanted something in the middle. didn't work out for me. And um, I got myself a little Mercedes and I cannot be happier with my choice. It's, you know, it's a good brand, it's a powerful engine, a very compact city car, it's a small Mercedes. I love the design of Beetle, Mini Cooper, Fiat 500, these are my like most beautiful cars. I tried driving all of them, but to be honest, this one was my favorite, just because it's so easy to navigate, it's very like fast and quick and small and like, I don't know, it's just such a pleasure to drive when you drive, it's like the car floats, it's, it's so... Amazing. I'm extremely happy. Um, some of you ask me for car tour and show the car from the outside and honestly guys, I, I just don't feel like doing that. This is not me. I'm not interested in these types of videos myself and that's why I, I don't want to film it. I, I always don't want to film something that I wouldn't enjoy watching myself. So although some of you might enjoy that, sorry, but you know, some things need to be private. I don't want to share every single detail of my life. Yes, I got a Mercedes. I decided to share that with you. I got a little new car, um, but I just don't want to make it like a too big of a deal, you know? Maybe someday I'll decide to show it. I don't know, but let's. I just want to keep it for myself for now. But yeah, I just want to tell you that if my car looks different, that's why. That's a new car. Going to Max to get some coffee. So I got myself first at Hazelnut Latte because we all know that's my favorite coffee in the world. And you know what? They just started making roasted hazelnut ice cream, which I'm dying to try. I'm gonna try next time, not today. It's so gloomy and it feels like it's gonna rain any minute. So that's the Retro Books shop right next to the bridal shop. But it has another shop that belongs to it. So right around the corner and this is my favorite because it has a better selection of books especially English books yeah see book commas retro books oh I love the entrance they have a girl on the train how much is it? Mm, too expensive for a used one oh yeah it just started to rain heavily so I'm just gonna stand here I guess wait for the rain to go because my books will get wet. So I got The Italian Girl by Iris Marduk. I've never heard about it but it looks interesting. And then I got Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, I actually just got this book for my boyfriend as a present as well. But I've never read it myself so I decided to get it. I paid what like 4 euros I guess for both. I'm running to the other bookshop. Oh, so rainy. No way am I going out of here. I'm just gonna stand here in the doorway. Look at that crazy rain. Oh my god. So that is August in a nutshell in Klepada. Okay, so I was waiting for the rain to pass and during that time I read um, five pages of Frankenstein and the author's introduction and I'm so surprised to see that 
Mary Shelley actually didn't want to put uh, her thoughts on paper because she had this crazy imagination, but she never um, wrote her thoughts down until she met Lord Byron, who actually became kind of her friend. And I just got a book of Lord Byron's poetry. I love his poems. And they both decided to write ghost stories. So this kind of influenced her to write Frankenstein. And I think that is so interesting that she was um, acquainted with Lord Byron. Anyway, how beautiful is this place? So I came to La Maison de Croissant and I look like a white rat. My hair is all wet and disgusting. Um, I took some salad. I'm gonna sit here and eat it. And the reason I came here is because I've got some work to do, as I said, I need to answer some emails, take some pictures of some products. So yeah, I'm gonna spend some time here, maybe half an hour or so. It's really nice when it's raining when you are inside, like sitting here or you can read a book and stuff, but it's not the best time to walk outside and I've learned my lesson to always have an umbrella on me. So that's the salad I got with some bread. Look at parmesan cheese and cherry tomatoes. The salad is so bad. It's just dry rocket with tomatoes and parmesan cheese. They could add more olive oil and lemon and more balsamic. This is so rubbish for five euros. I mean, I could do a ten times better job at home. And the coffee and desserts here are really good. But the food, everything I've tried is so bad here. So I'm getting some groceries. Got a lemon, some greens, Haribo Fantasia. Greek yogurt from my brother and I because he asked me to pick it up. Maybe I should get some chai latte. We have a real Indian chai at home, so I'm gonna make a natural one. Let's get some almonds and cashew nuts. Okay, so I think that's it. I'm gonna go to Green Green Health Food Shop to get my favorite. This is granola. Okay, so I'm done with my grocery shopping. This jasmine scent is currently 50% off, so I decided to get it because I just love the smell of it. It's so, so beautiful, so I'm gonna spray some of it in the car now. Because I didn't want to get those car fresheners that I found in the grocery shops. They're so dodgy and they, you know, it's just very synthetic, disgusting scents. Like, they don't do normal, good car scents. I feel like they all might give me headaches, so... I decided to get this room spray instead. Oh my god, it's so good. I think you can actually use it as, you know, <laughs> perfume for yourself because it's such a beautiful, pure jasmine scent. As you can see, I'm home and already jumped into my comfy clothes and I got something from L'Oreal for hair, so I'm gonna show you. So they've sent me two information sheets about the new products and these are the products. So this is Elvital Double Elixir leave-in conditioner for colored or highlighted hair. Now, I had this one, like bright pink one, and I didn't like it at all. So hopefully this one will be better. It's shaken up already, so it's this milky pink color. And my hair is really frizzy and dry and tangly, so I really hope it will work. And then this one is Extraordinary Oil, Oil Ink Cream. What does it say? Fine nourishing cream. Do 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 sumptuous softness extraordinary shine and lightness um and i love this extraordinary oil uh, range from l'oreal so i think i will enjoy this product um, i have a similar one from kerastase so yeah i have a feeling that i will really like it that's gonna be the end of my vlog i'm gonna go have something to eat and then i'm just gonna do house chores if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i will see you very soon bye